This is a good model to study learning and memory. I don't know about you, but I feel sluggish sometimes, especially before I've had my coffee. But who knew these sea slugs would have so much to tell us about the human brain? Our brain and nervous system are wired with hundreds of billions of nerve cells, or neurons. But slugs keep things simple, with just tens of thousands. You know, when you talk about learning in a slug, you're talking about how to find what to eat, how to avoid being eaten, and how to find a mate and reproduce. You know, the simple behaviors. So you can actually study learning and memory and how neurons control behavior probably better than any other creature. With support from the National Science Foundation, analytical chemist Jonathan Sweedler and his team at the University of Illinois are working to understand the function of individual cells in the nervous systems of slugs and other animals. So why study single cell? Trying to understand how, say, a muscle works and maybe individual cells aren't important, but in cases of cancer, when the single cell starts to mutate, then you need to go to the single cell level. They use a technique called mass spectrometry to measure the different chemical constituents in slug and other brain samples. Every one of these lines is a different chemical from the brain. So because of what's happened with mass spectrometry, the discovery of new molecules in the brain is really accelerating. Sweedler says sea slugs are a great model system for neuroscience because their neurons grow and grow throughout their lives. This is the nervous system of, of the Aplysia californica we are looking at. And uh, right here, you can see that some of these neurons can actually get quite large, uh, which makes it a little bit easier, gives you a little more material to work with. Learning to turn specific chemicals in the human brain on and off could lead to new methods to diagnose and treat chronic pain, drug addiction, even neurological disease and mental illness. And so we want to understand the chemistry. And more than that, we are discovering in every animal we've looked at new molecules that people didn't know were in the brain. Just as we find new molecules, there is actually the potential uh, for having a therapeutic effect. So next time you're feeling a little sluggish, take heart. They're smart enough to teach us a few lessons. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.